you should be there, you should be spreading word of mouth everywhere, as posters and all that stuff, and just, like he said, like aiming towards every, uh, every type of interest and in every type of person at Mount Allison. Care to response? approachability in that sense is key uh, just to be completely approachable so like that said I mean I might not share the same interests with every student here but I still respect everyone's interests so that would be really important and to show everyone that I am very approachable in terms of administration instead of just necessarily going into it with this like pound on them attitude just try to speak with them try to develop a really a positive relationship with administration and earn their respect and in turn hopefully have the students earn their respect as well, and then them earn the respect of the students. Uh, I agree with what Brittany said, and I think approachability is definitely something important, but I, I think it's not really something concrete that you, to say you can do, you know, being approachable. Uh, I think that the way it works now on campus, only one person represents a residence from either 85 to 250 people. And I think that the job of the VP Campus Life, definitely one of the main jobs, should be to work with counselors and house executive, again, like I said, to know what's going on in houses. And I think that that should be one of the focuses of the VP Campus Life. Um, I think, again, being available and making sure people actually know who you are and who the SAC is through events and being around campus is also crucial. Great response. Hi, um, both of you are both seemingly very qualified people for VP Campus Life, but I would like to hear why you are more qualified than the other person running. Because you're both second year standing, you're both house executive, you seem to offer a lot of the same things, but I want to know what makes you or sets you apart from the other candidate who might be better for the job of representing students for Campus Life. Am I first on this one? Yeah. Um, I think that what sets me apart, I won't say necessarily makes me better, but I think what sets me apart from Brittany is having seen firsthand what, the, uh, what students have gone through and, and listening to what people have said. And I've gone through, through residences and things and, and taken a very proactive approach to getting student opinions. And I think that that's something that absolutely must be done by the campus life. Well, Vice President of Campus Life. Uh, well, I would say I, I have spoken with students and I do make myself available to students and other residents and my own residents, so I don't know how that would differentiate me from Pat. I do know uh, just from speaking with Pat before, he does have, this is not necessarily a weakness, but he does have a problem necessarily delegating work to other people, whereas sometimes you do have to make a complete team effort and you need to work as a team, so I, that's what I would say. And counter response? Okay, I'm going to need to end the questions after these hands. Yeah. So, you, then you. <laughs> so, I'm assuming that both of you have read the job descriptions fairly well uh, since you're running for these positions. Um, and within them, uh, it lays out the responsibilities of the positions, and I want to know. Um, if you're to win, what do you deem as the most important responsibility of the campus life or what you would set as your highest priority in the position? Uh, well, I guess, like I've stressed before, representation. That's one of the things I've noticed. It is uh, non-academic representation of the students. And to me, that is still the most important thing. So in terms of that, by having like committees like the Campus Life Committee and things like that, by encouraging more involvement in the school and just representing students, that's that would be a major priority. Um, I hate to, to kind of reverberate the sentiment, but again, I think that the most important part of the job portfolio is to represent 
students living on campus and off campus and to represent their interests. And as it falls within the portfolio of the VP Campus Life, I think that above and beyond just listening to them, I think that the best way is to relate to them proactively and not just expect them to come to you with concerns, but to actually not only make yourself available, but make yourself appeal to them by incorporating a lot of activities and incorporating a lot of different interests around campus. Can I response? And our final question. Uh, both of you talk, you mentioned earlier in your speeches that you really focused on residence life and your experiences from residence in Santa Cruz, whereas a lot of us in the body live off campus. They don't, they don't deal with residence life. We don't know what it's like to live in the district or we don't. That's not our reality. Um, so how would you deal with like, um, communicating and um, interacting with those constituents, these people that you have no experience of what it's like to live off campus and then to, to be part of uh, the body? Um, I think the most important way to, uh, to be able to listen to people and to be able to get input from people is to make them care. And I think that if you want people both on campus and off to care, I think again you need to appeal to them. And I think, I, I hate to keep repeating this, but again I think the SAC, all clubs and societies are under the SAC's banner. And I think that the SAC should remember that and the VP Campus Life should work in conjunction with not only clubs, societies, sports teams, residences, because obviously you can't reach everyone, that's not a reality, but I think to be realistic and the best way to reach everyone in varied student, varied interest groups is to make sure that you're out there and make sure that you're appealing to them and then I think that, uh, that they'll be more ready to approach you. I don't want to just copy what Pat had said, but I do agree with just you go out to different clubs and societies, make yourself available in that sense, because it is difficult. I mean, with residents, you can just go to a house meeting and make yourself known there. So it is harder, but even going around, trying to, I would want to go around, it'd be slightly uncomfortable, but even to perhaps some off-campus housing, just to introduce myself and make myself out there, and just, again, it goes with approachability. So. And get a response?